At RaceLab, we've spent years and years of researching and developing what we believe is the best VR integration for sim racing. And in this video, we're going to show you why. Our goal was simple, deliver the best possible performance with the lowest impact on your system while running it. We wanted interaction with overlays to feel natural and effortless, positioning them exactly where you wanted without breaking immersion. Resla VR supports all major VR technologies, OpenVR, OpenXR and Open Composite, and works across all VR headsets. This is Resla VR, built for performance, ease of use and full compatibility. So how can you use RaceLab for the first time? It's very simple. All you need to do is clicking on the Start VR button on the bottom of the screen. And if you never used this feature before, you will be shown a page where you can actually download and install it. So let's do that. Click on the Download button here. It will open up a new web page and look for the RaceLab VR link. Click on it and it starts downloading the installer. Now we just need to install it, click on the installer, accept, install, um, click on yes if you get a pop-up and this is it, your Racela VR is already installed. At this point you already have a working environment which means Racela VR is already working with Racelab. All we need to do is to add some overlays to see how this works. To add overlay to your VR, you need to click on the add overlay button, which will show you a selection of overlays. You click one and the overlay is added to your VR. Let's switch to the VR view to see how this looks. So this is our VR environment in the background, but before I show you how this looks, please do this little extra step. Go to key bindings and set your recenter VR key binding. This is a very common issue in VR. You always have to have a button either on your keyboard or on your wheel that recenters your VR view. It's true with any other game, it's the same with the overlays. You have to have a button that recenters them. My suggestion is to use the same key binding in Racelab VR to recenter the view as you use in your game, whether it's iRacing or any other games. Now, I know in iRacing, the recenter short key by default on the keyboard is the semicolon. So I'm gonna set the same button for recentering the VR for the overlays. And I will also set a button for my wheel, which I just pressed and assign. In that way, I only have to press one button and everything gets recentered. And that's it. You are ready for your first VR experience. Go down to the Start VR button and press it. It should turn to red. And if you check, we should see the relative overlay. Now, let's see in the VR view. And there you go. We can see the relative overlay. A little disclaimer. My headset is on my table. As you can see, if I move it, it moves. So this is really a VR view. And I need to show you how you can move this around and operate it. If you want to change the position or the size of the overlay, you have to step into a so-called edit mode. To do that, you have to press the tab button on your keyboard and it activates this edit mode. As you can see, the overlay is highlighted with this blue border, which means this is in edit mode and the relative overlay is the activated item or the active item that you're currently editing. Now you can do two things. You can use your left mouse button and move it around on your X and Y axis. And then you can hold down your right mouse button and you can push it away from you and drag it closer to you. Now this is really going to push it away from you in your VR space. So you can actually put it ahead of your car or even within your cockpit. The second thing you can do is you can press M, which will change the transformation mode from position to adjust, which means the overlay will have this orange border and you have different operations now you can apply on this overlay. So if I now hold my left mouse button down, if I move the mouse, it will keep changing the size or the scale of this overlay. If I click on the right button, it will rotate it. 
So as you can see, you can easily change between these modes by pressing the M button on your keyboard. And if I simply want to put it over there, push it a little bit away and maybe just move it towards me, then you can easily do that. And the last step is to save all these changes. You simply need to press escape. If you want to save it, press enter and all the positions and all the changes are saved. So now let's go back and add more overlays. So let's add the input telemetry overlay. That's the best way to represent how smooth the rendering is within VR. Oh, and by the way, you can add and remove overlays and you don't have to stop your VR integration. So all you need to do is add one and then going back to the VR environment and we can see the overlays already there. So now if I step into the edit mode, I need to switch the focus to the input telemetry, which I can do by pressing space. If you keep pressing space, it will change the active overlay to the next one. If you have more, it will change to the other ones. So the space is setting the focus for the next overlay to edit. And then let's just move it somewhere convenient. There you go, escape and enter to save the positions. And now I just wanna have you look at the overlays, how they render and how smooth they are. So I'm just going to give you a couple of seconds to see how nice it is. That's about enough. This overlay is actually looks so sharp and clean and smooth. You might actually think this is on the screen, but this is really within VR rendered at 60 FPS and buttery smooth. This is insane how nice they look. You have to try this within your VR and you will see what I mean. Let's talk about overlay sets. You can create multiple overlay sets in VR, place overlays inside of them, and then switch between overlay sets. That's basically the idea. First, you start with one overlay set. As you can see, here we have one, the default overlay set. And then you can create more if you would like to. To create a new overlay set, click on this little arrow here and click on the Create New Set button. As you can see, here now we have two overlay sets. Overlay sets A and overlay set B. And of course, you can also add overlays to this overlay set with the add overlay button. Let's just add two overlays there. And that's it. You have now the second overlay set ready. And as you can see, I can activate it on the right side by pressing this button. So now the overlay set B is active. So if we switch over here, you can see that we have these two overlays because we defined it in our second overlay set. And if I go back to the overlay A set and activate it, if I go back, you will see that the overlay A set is activated. So it's simple as that. You can switch it manually by pressing a key, or you can also define a key binding, which is, in my opinion, a lot more convenient. You can define a cycling through key binding and then you can just uh, cycle through all your overlay sets or you can define key bindings for specific A, B or C overlay sets to get activated. And if you're already in your sim rig and forgot to turn on the VR mode, we also have a key binding for that. Just make sure the toggle VR key binding is set. So even when you are in your sim rig, you just press a button on your wheel and Rizla VR will turn on. And this is a short clip about Rizla VR's performance. As you can see on the top left side, we have the Steam VR's latency panel open. As you know, in VR, latency is everything. If your latency is low, you will have a great VR experience. And throughout this video, you will see that with the overlays rendered within VR, the latency is still kept to a minimum. There is no disturbance or peaks in this period. And I'm even trying to move my head around to see if it's causing any disturbance. But as you can see, everything seems butter smooth. And this is just the beginning. We are already working on new features to make RaceLab VR even better. If you have a feature you would like to see, please let us know in the comments below. 
because your feedback helps shape what we build. Thanks for watching the video. See you later.